Okay, well, I just see the crystal here. What's this about? What the heck is that? Hey, how's it going? Spy here, and welcome back to another My Little Blacksmith Shop episode. Now this is version 0.072, and last episode we checked out 0.07's update, and it was pretty amazing, guys. We checked out the new map here, and some of the crystals and stuff like that. But supposedly, I missed a few things, including the shield parts. There was supposedly a few more parts to that. But guys, this episode, we are going to be checking out a few more things. So there is something in this shop, you guys said, and we are going to check that out in a bit. But first thing, I want to see if they actually fixed the glitch I was having with the creation of the one hand hammers with a single ingot, because last video I was having problems with that even when I selected it in here, in the heads. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's see if we can make one now. Let's just cook that up. Um, is that gonna cook? There we go. And let's see. Uh, I should probably select it. No, see, we can't select it. It's only letting us select the blades. So it is two ingots still. Hopefully they fix the price though. I really hope so. Oh! He moved the stuff over here. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, select the blunts. And now we can make the one hand hammer head. I'm pretty sure he fixed the price now though, so we won't really have a problem. So, now we should be able to make the money that we deserve with one handed hammers. <laughs> that we deserve. Anyways, um, before we get into some more blacksmithing like you guys wanted to see, let's go check out the little house over here. There's something in there and you guys want me to check it out. So, let's head over here. Hey! Hey buddy! How's it going? Well, hi to you too, I guess. Okay, well, let's go inside the house and see what this is about. Okay, well, I just see the crystal here. What's this about? What the heck is that? Oh my... God. There's a demon or something there. What the heck? That is so creepy. Who are you? Man, that's scary. Every time I let go, he disappears. I got an idea though, guys. Do you remember the light crystal? It's called the Crystal of Protection, I believe. It's way over there, past the golem. Um, let's go see if that has any effect against the dark demon dude in there. Uh, hopefully it does something cool. I still don't think the crystals do anything else other than that, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's Mr. Golem there. I could see his little legs hobbling around over there. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Golem, are you stuck in the rocks there? I think you are. Well, I'll just leave you there for now. Okay, let's grab this here. Let's see. Crystal of Protection. Let's go take it to that uh, demon guy and see if it does something. Okay, here we are. Let's throw the crystal in here. Let's see. He's still there. Right, right there. Whoa! Are you kidding me? <laughs> The jump scared me, guys. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. I don't think he's there anymore. Why would it do that? I didn't expect that at all. Is he still there? No, he's gone. He's gone. Well then. That was pretty interesting. I wonder if any of these other crystals have any use at the moment. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm st I still think he's developing it. Oh, look. We, we go slower in water now. Okay. Pretty sure this is the water crystal. I don't think it has a use yet, though. It still says unknown. I'm gonna go dump it in my, um, quenching bucket, though, and see if that does something. What is this? What, what, what is this? Oh, that's the fear crystal. <laughs> well, then. Hi, fear crystal. Get out of here. We'll take these both back. I gotta juggle them back and forth. So I'm not sure what else I can really do in this game at the moment. I'm waiting for more updates to come out. I'm pretty patient though. The developer is doing a pretty good job by himself. So I I will, I will I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Okay. Light crystal we'll bring in here. We'll put that right here. And this we will put in the quenching bucket right here. Does that do anything? No. That'd be cool if this gave us like a little... Oh, oh well, it's underground now. B b bye crystal. Can I get you out of there? No. Oh, oh, almost. No, well, well, bye, Crystal. Bye. Have, have fun down there. I see you dancing. But it'd be cool if that crystal actually... Oh, 
Come on, you, 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 can, you can do it. It'd be cool if that crystal actually helped with the production of weapons. I don't know what it would really do in the quenching bucket if, if it was that case, but yeah. So before I forget, let's head over to the sandbox mode and let's see if we can craft the other shield parts. I know we can't completely craft the shield that I know of, unless uh, there's a way to actually make the wood part of the shield. But let's try making the shield anyways. We gotta order some metal. Break this open. Let's cook this up. Okay. Let's put this on here. Now we're gonna go into the radio menu and we're gonna click shields. Let's see what one ingot does for us. Oh look, he gave us the shield boss. Okay, so that's the middle piece of the shield. Oh, put this here. Let's put two on there now. There's the rim. Okay. Put this over here, right in the center, like that. Look at that, guys. We're making we're making a table shield. Okay, and what does three ingots do on the anvil? Well, let's see. It's not doing anything. I don't know if if they have any handles or anything for the shield and we can't really make the rest of the shield so I think that's it for now guys. If you guys do have any ideas on how to make the other parts let me know. I know there's nothing else at the moment though unless you can make the the handles of the shield. There we go. Hey what do you want? You need a great hammer. Of course you need a great hammer. I'll get you a great hammer. Don't worry about it and here's a fire crystal. Um, it still seems like the ore gets stuck under each other, so we're gonna make a great hammer head. There we go, quench that. Let's go take it over here. Let's throw a handle on it. Where, where, where's the handle? Where's the handle A? Wait, I don't see a handle. Oh no. Well, we have a lot of time. We'll just buy one. Let's go take it over here. Hook this up like this. Well, here's your great hammer. Have fun out there. Have, have fun. That's a great hammer. That is a great hammer. Here you go. Take it. Take it. Oh, oh, you see her guys? She was trying to come grab the hammer from me. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Well, that gave us $51. That's, that's actually really good. $51. Wait, it said copper pole arm. What the heck? Copper pole arm. Okay, it gives us information about the whole sail. That wasn't a copper pole arm, not at all. But I guess it's a little a little bug there. On well, fifty-one dollars, that's all right. I guess it costs us thirty-three dollars to make, huh? Okay, here comes our next customer. I'm just sorting my inventory a little bit. You gotta make sure you're pretty organized. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying that now. If you guys have seen my other videos where I buy a bunch of ores, yeah, that's that's totally organized. Well, he wants a one-hand hammer. What? what the heck are you doing? Get over here. Okay, there we go. Sir, sir, here's your hammer. Here's your hammer. Come get it. Come get- Oh, he grabbed it. <laughs> I don't know if they fixed the price for the um, tin one-handed hammers, though. That's where we had the issues last time. We will have to see about that. Hello. What do you want? You want a great sword? I'll make you a great sword. It will be forged with copper. Just copper. Nothing else. Okay, well let's see if there is now a penalty for making a sword and not quenching it. I don't think there is a penalty. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, there we go. And... Um... Is that even gonna... That's not working now. So you can't put the blade together unless it's quenched? Is that how it works now? If so, that makes sense. Yeah. Aw, that sucks. I really like lighting people on fire. Here you go. Here's your sword. Come get it. Come, come get it. Come get it. Stabby, stabby. Okay, just take it. <laughs> well then. So I, I really do like this extra information on the, the pricing of our weapons. Look at this. Copper short blade, $11. Two hand guard, $3.3. Fancy polearm grip, $11. That's pretty good. So see, if we get 
charisma up, we get more money. And right here on the rush bonus, that's if we uh, build the sword fast, we get extra money. Hey, you want a one hand sword? Coming right up. So we should be able to make tin pretty soon. This blade looks pretty nice. Man, these swords would have been so cool in like the medieval ages. Everyone would want one of my swords. Well, probably not. Okay. Um, one hand guard. Bam. Bam. Look at this thing. This thing is nice looking. Did you guys think? Even though it's copper. Here you go, sir. Here you go. What? What? Oh, oh, he's, he's chasing. Aw. Oh. Too bad they can't go any farther than that. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, they increased the price. Look how much one titanium ingot is. $100,000. And tin is $500. Oh no. <laughs> That's a little too much. That is a little too much. Okay. Well. Well then. I guess that means we gotta continue to grind weapons. It seems like it's a lot easier to get money now. And they don't seem to be rushing the shop as much. Oh, that's, that's a little scary. $500? How am I going to afford that? I only have 179 What the heck is this? <laughs> Just means I'm going to have to stock up on stuff and pre-build them as fast as possible. Even though I think our next customer's coming pretty soon. Oh, man. I never expected them to raise the price that much. That is insane. That is insane. I guess I won't be able to buy a thousand ingots anymore. A thousand ingots of even tin would be insane. Well then guys, that is pretty cool and interesting. But if you guys do happen to want to see me try to get titanium again, let me know in the comments. That's a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dollars per ingot. I'm sure money increases fast once we start getting tin. But look at this. Tin is 500. Iron is a thousand. Adelite? Adelite? What is Adelite? I have not seen Adelite before. Adelite's 5,000. Mithril's 10,000. Adamantine is 50,000. And Titanium is 100,000. 10 ingots of Titanium is a million dollars. But anyways guys, if you do want me to actually try to get Titanium again, let me know in the comments and I'll try to play this game a little more if you guys do happen to enjoy that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for now. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye. Wait, what? Why is she on fire? <laughs> She's on fire, guys. She's on fire. Did I forget to cool the blade? Did I forget to cool a blade? Did I just kill one of my customers? Oh man, let's try that again.